On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declared the global outbreak of COVID-19 a pandemic. Over three months later, we are still in the throes of it and trying to stay safe. One way to stay safe? Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE for short. This includes, but is not limited to, masks. Before this time, in many areas of the world, it was not common to wear face masks. I will mention it has been common in Japan, China, and Korea for reasons ranging from air pollution, illness, and or high levels of pollen that affected allergies. But now, there are videos on Twitter of people getting in arguments over wearing masks in grocery stores. There are counties saying wearing masks outdoors are mandatory. So let's answer one of the biggest questions of today. Will masks protect you from COVID-19? The short answer is yes, though please stay tuned for more information on why, just in case you find yourself in need of having facts ready for a conversation at your local Trader Joe's. Masks are one part in a system of steps that help in stemming the spread of COVID-19. The reason face masks are used in public settings alongside social distancing and frequent hygiene is simple. All coronaviruses can be spread through coughing and sneezing. Close personal contact, such as touching or shaking hands, or touching an object or the surface with the virus on it than touching your mouth, nose, or eyes. By wearing a mask, respiratory droplets are blocked from spreading into the air where they could infect someone else or lie on a surface. These droplets are not only released with a cough or a sneeze. Since we have saliva in our bodies and in our mouths, smaller amounts of these droplets still escape as long as we are talking or breathing with our mouth open. Because of this, wearing a mask and social distancing are important to do in tandem. Now you may be thinking, but I'm not sick, why should I wear a mask? To start, some people with COVID-19 may be asymptomatic. That is, they are showing no signs of symptoms and are seemingly healthy. Additionally, during the incubation period of the virus, the infected person can still be contagious in some circumstances. The incubation period is essentially when a person is sick, but no symptoms have presented yet. This period lasts on average five to six days for COVID-19, but up to 14 days. Now, if you are unconvinced that you have COVID and you need another reason to wear a mask, I do have one. It can protect you as well. An international team of researchers examined a century's worth of mask studies. Overall, homemade cloth masks won't do anything major on their own, but if they are widely used, they may lead to a modest reduction in transmission. If the word modest seems small or not enough to do much good, reconsider. Researchers say that every virus-laden particle retained in a mask is not available to hang in the air as an aerosol or fall to a surface to be later picked up by touch. So as a refresher, don't touch your face, wash your hands frequently, wear a mask, and keep your distance. Now let's move on to what type of mask. What is most effective and what should you wear? Surgical masks and N95 respirators are both very effective face masks. N95 respirators are tight fitting and can filter out 95% of very small particles. This includes viruses and bacteria. They are a mask that needs to be fit tested because they are not one size fits all. You need it to seal effectively to your face to get the proper protection. Surgical masks are disposable ones. They are the ones you see with two loops to hook around the ears. They protect the wearer from sprays, splashes, and large particle droplets. And they also prevent the spread of possibly infected air droplets from the wearer to others. These two options I have already listed are predominantly reserved for healthcare professionals at this time. This ensures that those who have the knowledge and experience to care for the ill can still do their job as they cannot socially distance while treating a patient. But for those of us who aren't in essential work with close contact, cloth masks work too. Making your own cloth mask has become popular for a good reason. Cloth masks are more effective, the better the seal you have. A baggy mask won't do you much good as the air droplets can escape through the larger breaks. Cloth masks have a virtually unlimited supply since they can be made at home with common materials. And they are proven to be better than not using any mask. They offer some protection, which is great, especially in places where physical distancing may be hard to maintain. But while you are wearing a mask, don't think you are invincible. It is another added protection, yes, but it does not replace the need for other protective measures. Plus, there is the right way to put on a mask and take it off. Here are a few pointers for doing so. Place your mask over your mouth and your nose. Tie it behind your head or use ear loops and make sure it is snug to your face. Do not touch your mask while you are wearing it. If you accidentally touch your mask, wash or sanitize your hands. Remove the mask by untying it or lifting off the ear loops without touching the front of the mask or your face. Wash your hands immediately after removing your mask. Regularly wash your mask with soap and water in the washing machine. It is fine to launder it with other clothes. There are also a few other mask precautions. 
Don't put masks on children under two years of age. Do not use face masks as a substitute for social distancing. And don't put masks on anyone who has trouble breathing or is unconscious or otherwise unable to remove the mask without help. That being said, it has also been brought up that some people may not be able to wear health masks for medical reasons. They claim that they are exempt from mask wearing. This has largely been dismissed. Doctors say that even people with asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease should wear masks in public. One woman with severe asthma even made a TikTok about it. She monitored her blood oxygen level as she wore no mask, then while wearing a surgical mask, then while wearing an N95 respirator, and then a cloth mask. Even though her nose and mouth were obstructed, there was no difference in her blood oxygen level. If you are still unconvinced about wearing a mask, included in the links in the description is a UK study from this year. It showed evidence of vastly less spread of the disease when lockdown periods are implemented in combination with 100% face mask use. So the more people who wear face masks, the better. So there is our answer for today. Face masks will not only protect you, protect others, but also help the community in slowing the spread of COVID-19. Thank you for joining me today on Life's Biggest Questions. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a safe and happy day.